energy if you're talking about attraction in physics uh-huh. then you have to have objects some kind okay. of matter and energy is not matter so you if something is attracted to something else then it's matter attracted to something some kind of other matter okay but energy isn't matter it's it's a it's a, it's, a, it's a whole different thing so you can't you can also say that energy is right there or right there because energy doesn't doesn't is an ob- is not an object yeah, energy okay i got you so how how would you say that it's attracted by another thing if you can't say where it is exactly yeah but what i what i what i think about is for example if you have a fire mm-hmm. and you you start um you start with a paper and put it under under some wood and then you light the paper then there's an energy conversion from the chemical energy bound in the paper to heat energy and that's lighting up the wood and then there's more energy converting and so on and so on okay. so that's maybe some kind of way that you could say that energy is attracting energy but but it's not attracting energy per se it's more so matter exerting energy yeah. and then other matter being attracted to that energy it's it's matter that um participates in the conversion of energy and that 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 energy that heat energy um then ignites the other conversion of the energy and it's also in the in the fusion reactor it's kind of the same way because you heat it up a lot and then uh, if you heat it up enough then there's fusion happening and fusion heated up heat, heats it up even more and uh, then there's more fusion happening and so on so that's maybe some kind of way that you could say that energy attracts energy it's not attracting in the physical sense but it's uh, it's making it possible that that energy is um, is convert converted by the way there's also an interesting um, connection to potential energy because okay. if you say that uh, the wood uh, can be lit up from the paper from the from the flame of the paper then you have to have potential energy in the bounds of the wood so that it can be um, can even lit up light up do you know what i mean yeah if you have anything that can burn then this must mean that there's chemical there's something bound. inside it that makes it possible yes that's something chemical energy is burned is bound somehow that it can uh, release that energy and uh, that's true for everything that can burn and even for nuclear reactions because for example in a in a star you have fusion from lighter objects uh, light lighter um lighter elements to heavier elements so you start okay. with hydrogen for example which is just one proton in the in the nucleus and then two of them fuse together then you have two then two of them fuse together then you have four and so on and so on 